What is going on everybody? I am back with a brand new video and today we are at Caesars Ford and I have to play with a bag that I built of Innova's weirdest discs. Bar. What is that? Here is the bag up on the screen now, and yes, I have to putt with the polecat. So let me know down in the comments if you think I'm going over or under par on the front nine. Let's hop right into this. Pull one is going to be a 260 foot high. I'm going to go groove off the tee and just kind of hope that it skips in. Do it really high, actually. Yep. If there's one disc in this lineup that's kind of worth buying, I would say it's the Alien. Uh, it seems kind of silly, but it feels really nice in the hand and it actually flies decently well. The other discs, the Groove is kind of hit or miss. Some people love it. The Polecat, uh, I'm not a fan of. The Sonic, I do like, but I would never throw it on the course, like in a, a real round. Hole two is a par four that's seriously like dead straight ahead of us. I'm gonna try to throw the Groove on backhand and get a little bit to that left side is what I'm hoping. And from there, we should be able to get up and down for the birdie, fingers crossed. Oh, you yanked it. That's not a good sign. From wanting birdie to trying to fight for par, this is gonna be good, this is gonna be real good. That'll work. At least I got some distance. Just playing for par at this point after that off the drive. You can see the basket behind those trees there. So I got to make that bend there. Get legs, get legs, go. Okay, we have a putt for par. A little dicey start, not gonna lie to you. Usually I would be very confident in this putt, but I have a ice cream lid in my hand to putt with. So I just don't know. All right, so we're not shooting bogey free out here. Starting the day off plus one through two. There's plenty of birdies out here, so I'm not really all that worried, but come on, Max, be better. Full three is a par four. Just get out in this field, and then you have to shoot right, and it's probably down by the creek, which is kind of scary. No, that's fine. A little bit more turn on that would have been ideal, but it's okay. You see the top of the basket there, and we are sitting right here. I honestly might have to go groove just so it spikes through those trees. There is water behind the basket, so OB behind, but I think the groove might be the only thing I feel comfortable to get to fade in there. Oh, Max. Nope. This is what it is, a par is a par. But we really like to see a birdie there. Maybe I should have went forehand off the tee instead. There were some people out there hating on me for hating on the groove. I guess I don't really hate the disc, but I would never throw it. But some of you out there loved the groove and said it was the best disc that you were throwing. So that's kind of cool. And it shows you that even if you don't like a disc, it could be a great disc for somebody else, especially something that's kind of weird. If you don't know why I'm saying the groove is weird, it's because just like the name, it has a groove on the underside of its rim. I think was their idea of trying to save weight, I believe. But really what happened is they just got a ton of inconsistent discs, just like Innova does with anything else, but it is what it is. Hole four is way up that hill, and I think it's off to the right side, I believe. 378 feet, par four. I'm gonna try to throw Alien in the middle and then worry about the upshot when we get to it. The thing is, is I have to start throwing good drives here because we're not so far. <laughs> Oh, that'll work. Yeah, right behind that tree, but we should have an upshot from there. There's the basket we are shooting to all the way up the hill. Our disc landed there. Forehand groove is what I'm thinking, just to get us up the hill. Oh, it hit the one tree I had to miss. Unbelievable. I just came halfway back down the hill. Oh, it's a hike up this hill and it's wet. That's not good. As long as I don't die going back down this hill, we should be in good shape. Ah! Oh, I made it, don't worry. Hole five is a big hyzer around all this stuff. Tee pad is there, 250 feet. I kind of want to go groove just because I know it'll get left as long as I hit the gap. The alien is going to have to be thrown a little bit harder just because it's a mid and it won't skip as much if I do throw it low. So I think the groove's going to be a little forgiving if I hit the gap. <sighs> What is that? We are out here struggling. Oh my gosh, I'm not hitting any lines and the groove should be put in the trash. Yeah, it's definitely not me guys, definitely not me. It's definitely the disc. Huge putt, but the polecat's gonna glide forever and just get to the basket 
and rest inside. What even is that? Hole six, 459 feet, and you know what? There's no mercy on the groove this time. No mercy, I've been taking it easy on the groove, just trying to let it work into the round, but this is just gonna be a complete annihilation of the groove and a huge shot. Just watch. Oh yeah, you can't see that because I pulled it to the right, but it went about 250 feet. Complete annihilation. I'm playing bad, but that doesn't mean you're not enjoying the contest. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and also shop discgolfdealsusa.com. Link down in the description if you want to support the channel. That is a good way to do so. Thank you guys. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, Max, there's no way you mess this up. Sonic in hand, simple upshot. Yes. This is what I call in Sonic we trust. And that also means I have officially used every single disc at least one time. I know I threw the Sonic on hole four, but that was just a jump putt, really a little pitch up. This was at least a semi throw, okay? Hole seven is the worst hole to film and also the worst hole out here, in my opinion. 186 feet, so it's not very far, but you have to navigate this tunnel, if you even want to call it a tunnel, and the basket is out there in the field. We're going alien here. Wow. Get off of that, no! You know, I learned this from the man himself, Double G, Sonic throw-in. He wouldn't leave it short though. We're kind of just skating by right now, but hey, we're even par, two holes to play. That means two more birdies to get. This next hole's gonna be tough though with the discs I have. It is a par five, so we do have that going for us. I assume I'll go groove, groove, hopefully mid-range, putter into the basket. That's my prediction. Not bad. Not great. But not bad. Now fade like you've been doing all day long. Yes! Wow, look at that ground play. Wet grass and an overstable disc. That's what you get. That was a beautiful shot. Last thing to do is put this close for birdie. I have Sonic in hand, kind of just dead straight at the basket here. Mwah. Perfecto, exactly how I wanted to play it. I didn't go mid range on the third shot, so I was wrong. Which just means I played the hole better than I thought I would play it. Hole nine's another par four through this alley, 390 feet. I'm actually gonna try and go a little bit straighter at this and then fade in. That way I have a better upshot to the basket. Oh, it just didn't get out. Oh, it didn't get out of the ante fast enough. I threw that well. What stinks is you really still can't see the basket on camera from here. And that is gonna be par. That was not a good shot. We have not made a long jump putt, so maybe this is the one on hole nine, last hole of the day. <sighs> drop. Oh, it dropped. That's what the polecat's good at, is dropping. There you guys have it, one down on the front nine at Caesars Ford using Innova's weirdest discs that they have out right now. Definitely on the struggle bus a little bit early on, but definitely found a little bit of a groove around hole five or six or something like that. So got back to minus one, we were plus one, so I'm okay with that score today. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on the next one.